Hey guys, welcome to another uh, episode of uh, Parametrics and today we're going to be starting off with the line or curve. Okay, so to start off I'm just gonna place this line here, a more composite line here with a few more, more points and of course a curve. So the first step is how do we set up the these these curves? It's uh, pretty simple. We just follow the same procedure as the, the point. Yet instead we simply write in curve. Then then we right click it, go to set one one curve, and then your curve is now set. Same same thing for uh, multiple curves. Just need to select all of these, and then they are now connected. Now, let's assume that you want to join in maybe two points. I'm going to go here into multiple points and I'm going to select two, uh, two points. And now to connect these, first off, I need to set them up. So, one, control C, control V. And now simply select one point and, of course, the other point, like so. And to connect them, we just need to write in line, which gives us these two inputs, A and B, and just by connecting these you can get this nice result, and then simply by moving the uh, these points your uh, line will follow suit. Uh, I do not recommend using this uh, battery if you, if you want to move with uh, multiple points. For that, you can simply pick up on the polyline um, battery, and if you have multiple points, you can actually I'm gonna add them here. You can you can actually set them in the in the order you want. So, if I copy this battery here three times, and then set one pardon me one point for each. So set one point there this one as well and of course this one simply by placing them in here by order with my shift key I can then assume whichever order I prefer simply by taking out and taking in these points like that okay so now if you want to move a curve how do you do this so first off we clear this and then just add in one curve, you can add this one here. Now we follow the same principle as we did with the points in the previous video, like this. And now if I can add in something like an X axis, connect it there, add a slider, and then you can now easily move your curve. Okay guys, so this has been a very simple tutorial starting out with, with lines. Do not forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you here next time.